Excuse me. What is up, everybody? How is our day going today? And guess what, guys? Spyro the Dragon is back! And I'm here with Gaming for Fun. I am the Firebug. And give me a few moments to do a mic check right here. And we'll get on with this game and the Bible verse. Or the Bible verse in the game. All right, my check's working out good, and guys, I will start saying this before I get into this, uh, uh, because th th this is going to be one of those things I'm going to be thankful for uh, this Thanksgiving. Spyro's back! Woo! And I'm going to apologize in advance for my green screen going ballistic in my background. But yes, Spyro is back! Oh my goodness, anybody in from my generation from the PlayStation 1 era loved the original Spyro before it switched over to Skylanders. So, can't wait to get in this game. But before we do that, we're going to do uh, what I always start off with first is a Bible verse scripture. And I'm going to be in Psalms chapter uh, 95, verse 2. Let us come before his, before his praises with thanksgiving Pre let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with with psalms pretty much uh, since uh, Thanksgiving's coming up I wanted to pull that verse uh, we need to be we need to be we need to be thankful for uh, we need to be thankful for what we have not stressing out what we don't. God, God has blessed us, and uh, you know, God, God will be there, be there for us. Ah, I fixed it. So again, guys, uh, thank you again for joining this broadcast. Uh, I think I can speak for everybody. We are glad that Spyro is back. So you know what? Let's get into this. All right. And except start the game and let's get this uh, going. Memory slot, yes. All right. Uh, Spyro the Dragon was my favorite, so we're gonna start with that one first, and uh, we're gonna see what the graphics and stuff in here looks like. So this is gonna be amazing. Sorry if I go quiet, just so I can listen to the story modes. Because this is going to be awesome. This is going to be really awesome. Okay, rolling. Uh, oh, uh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds. Or is it six? <laughs> For a dragon's age, we now have 12,000 treasure. Or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Ganok character? Now, I oh, understand he's got a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple? He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is ugly. Ugly? That does it! Okay. So far, so well, guys. The graphics on this thing is awesome. Huh? Looks like I've got some things to do. Hmm. Okay, it, that the words have changed a little bit. Oh wow! Wow! Guys, look at the graphics on this. This is awesome, dudes. Okay, if you're a Spyro fan or if you ever played any of the Spyro, here's what you do. You go up, touch the touch the stone, and boom. They actually look better. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. 
free 10 dragons in the artisan world, then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. So, okay. Pretty much plain and simple. Same storyline. Same ways to fly. So that's pretty neat. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him! Keep your horns on, Spyro! You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Uh... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. <laughs> Again, guys. Dragons are helping you out. Alright, if I'm not mistaken, there's a secret test. Wait, that's not him. Sunny line. Okay, we'll go to that. Man. We'll, we'll go to that here in a little bit. I, I thought there was a treasure chest there. Ah, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Bingo. Okay, I will say the uh, creatures actually look a little bit better. Gotcha. Okay. So, all in all, from what I'm seeing so far, guys, the creatures and stuff is a whole lot better uh, from what I've been seeing. And when, you're, when your dude's about dead, this is what happens. Give him some sheep. Some butterflies. Ooh, skill points for That must be done. Wow. I mean, wow, guys. I can't. I can't fathom. This is a whole lot... I, I can't believe I'm saying this. This is better than the original. Hey, Spyro. Press the jump button twice to glide. And... and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks? Plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. <laughs> Yeah, okay, yeah, I, I want to safely say they got all the stuff here. All the Spyro games that tend to be Spyros. Oh, man. Come back here. Crap, I missed him. Gotcha. Alley oop. Alright, kids, we're actually gonna go in our first portal, and it's gonna be this one. I think uh, I did this in the old game too. Again, guys, my review for this game is phenomenal. I'll give this game 10 out of 10 so far, and I just barely scratched into it. So, okay, that's changed a little bit. That's pretty cool. Okay. 
Okay. All right. And I think over here you get turkeys. So different areas, different places. You'll have to figure those out. I love this game. Oh look, hey, another dragon. Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the right stick to get a good look. I like how they give the dragons a little more personality in this one. Everything's the same almost. I mean, it's really cool. They, they kept all the original stuff. They added, they added some stuff. Um, can't tell you exactly what they added. Oh crap. Come on, Spyro. Alright, if anybody is wondering what I'm doing. I'm trying to get this gym. There we go. Okay, that's how you do it. So I'm assuming that's one new thing that they added. Clearly had to jump on that thing three or four times. Okay. Uh, does anybody remember what this little blue thingy is? It's an extra life. If I'm right. <gasps> yes, I am. What? Thanks, Spyro. <laughs> I have the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing the jump button at the very top of your jump? No, but thanks, man. I totally forgot. I heard that weird voice that I don't like. Oh, that guy, he stole the eggs. Guys, I don't know if I said this like three or four hundred times already, but I like this game. a man dressed in blue running around here he's a thief and he's stolen a dragon egg you've got to track him down and, and get that egg run run <laughs> i'm getting a little winded <laughs> he's getting a little winded
I gotta figure out how to get this dragon egg, dude. I think I went over here. Yep, okay, that's how you do it. I just did. It's been a long time, guys. So bear with me when I show you some of the old tricks from us old gamers. Ah, poop. You can do it this way, okay? Just let me show you. It's gonna take a couple tries. There we go. Are you kidding me? Okay, so we gotta get back up here and do it again. I've been out of sync of this game, but I, it's like I'm trying to know. Uh, trying to get back into my step. It's really good. Anybody dissing this game? I'm so totally like you right now. Where's the egg? I don't see the egg. Where's the egg? Are you kidding me? Come on, I was uh, above that. Got the guy. So where's his egg? Okay, so I've already got it. Okay, if you haven't noticed already, there's some boxes you can ram, some boxes you can flame, and it's obvious that the, uh, uh, silver boxes you ram, the other boxes. Okay, there's some boxes there. Me personally, and which I'm trying to do, I try to get everything you can get. And I mean like literally everything. Look for everything before you go back home. I think you get like special power-ups. If you do so. So I mean. Go in, get, try to get all the diamonds. Them girls like them diamonds. You gotta get those diamonds. Oh, and here's something that is nice. This is what I was thinking that other one is for, but this one is, uh, 
This is what you're trying to do. Okay, this one, you have to flame it several times. Okay, about two, three times. Look at that, guys. I got them all. 200 out of 200. Sweet. So just bada bing, bada boom. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. You can always check your progress by accessing the guidebook through the pause menu. And pretty much, you know, all the, all this stuff on the first level is pretty much telling you how to do stuff. Which is okay because I kind of forgot. But yep, that is our first world today. And all in all, guys, from what I'm getting from this broadcast, this is a pretty darn good. Nothing, nothing's been lost. It's actually gotten a, a whole lot better. And now the kids of the younger generation can play an, an actual good game. And yeah, I'm I'm kind of mad that they did the Crash Bandicoot before Spyro. Because I really like Spyro a whole lot better. Oh, I got an Like, oh no, he turned around. Oh, so that's how you get them. I forgot about those little blue diamonds. Okay, so that's how you get extra lives. Sweet. Good to know. And it's these little silver ores if you didn't see it before. No! Spyro, no! You're supposed to fly! So, again guys, that is my uh, story opener uh, for the Spyro the Dragon. It actually came out today at GameStop, so if you pre-ordered it, please go pick it up if you have it all ready for the free release. Again guys, this is the best I've ever seen a remake. For a remake, I so totally would recommend this game. I mean, you're even scourging the grass. Oops. I should do another broadcast to see how many lives that I can actually break up before my first death. And you know what, if any parent was wondering if there's any games that's ready to eat for their kids and they don't have to worry about anything, this game, guys, I would have to say is one of those games. Uh, this game... See, I kinda... I like this game because this game was the era before Skylanders and I'm gonna... I'm gonna say sorry but not sorry to all the younger generations but your Skylanders was a piece of crap. It was... Oh look at that! that now see, now that wasn't in the original game. Uh, but Skylanders was crap didn't like it, never did, never will. I do like the figurine toys idea, by the way, that was pretty neat, along with Disney Infinite. But again, guys, this is my generation's uh, video game of Spyro, and I'm glad it is back.
And yes, there's two more trilogies that's going to be in this one, but I'm going to focus on this one because this one was my favorite. So guys, how about tune back in? We might actually do this again on uh, on Saturday. Still debating. It depends. We're probably going to do this one more time just to show you a couple more worlds and see if I move up to the next one. But I don't want to give away too much of the game just because I want you to go buy the game and have fun with it as well. Again, guys, this is a need to pick up. All us Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts fans, before Kingdom Hearts actually came out, this was our game. This was our dope. And, man, I'm telling you right now, if you do not got the Spyro for the PlayStation 4, go get it. This is what it looks like. Go. Now. Okay? Again, guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like this video of this content of showing you the opener of Spyro the Dragon. And if there's any other things that I can think of for the next broadcast to show you where all the secret stuff is, because I spent hours on this game. This was the first game I spent hours on before Kingdom Hearts came out. So, guys, please check out this game and check out many other games that I got on my, on my playlist that I've broadcasted. Check me out for Firebugs Gaming for Fun, and I will see y'all next time on this channel. Firebug out, everybody. Hope you have a nice week.